Hey guys, take control with the video for you guys. In today's video, I'm going to show you how to fix your voicemail if you're not getting voicemail or your voicemail isn't working. And there's multiple reasons why this is the case. And in this video, we're going to walk you through all the trouble to show you steps so that your voicemail is working again on your iPhone. So let's get started. So if you're having this issue, first thing I usually like to do is go ahead and pull down the control center from your iPhone and then turn on airplane mode briefly and then turn it back off. And what does a quick network refresh around your cellular data? and then Wi-Fi connectivity as well. A quick and easy way to see if that fixes and hopefully right now you're getting all of your voicemail or if you weren't getting in the past calls that need to go to voicemail or going to your voicemail. Now the next thing you're gonna wanna try to do if you're having issues is going ahead and deleting and emptying out old voicemail if you already have some. So let's say it's, you know, you got voicemail in the past but now you're not getting anymore. So what we'll do is I'll show you an example of this voicemail I have on my other phone just to give you an example. So let's say you have all these voicemail. As you can see here, I'm just hiding it. All you do is slide here and then click on delete. And then you just keep on doing it, deleting them and clearing out your voicemail, your old one that you have, just like that. And once you do clear it out, hopefully that frees up some space and now you can get other voicemail as well. In terms of clearing out space, you also want to ensure that your iPhone storage has enough space left to be able to save a voicemail. So in order to do that, you're going to go into your settings and then you're going to want to go to iPhone storage. So you're going to see general here and then iPhone storage here. And what you are looking for here is that you have freed up space. For so example, I'm using 11 gig out of 256 gig. Now, if I were using up 256 gig of 256 gig, I need to clear up some space. How do you do that? Usually delete like things like videos, photos, apps that can clear up some space, especially videos. They take up a lot of space. And sometimes if your phone doesn't have enough space, a lot of things don't work properly. So ensure that your phone has some space available. The next thing you want to do is see if there's a carrier update available for your iPhone. In order to do that, all you do is you go into your settings, go to general, and then about. And if there is an update out, it's going to come up and say update your carrier. Now, if it doesn't come up, that means you're already up to date, but you'll get a pop-up message when you come to this page. Or if you also go into your setting cellular and then come to this page, a pop-up will come up if there's a cellular update that needs to happen it will come up and you'll click on OK to update and that happens time to time but it's always good to ensure that it is available. Now the other setting in this page under the cellular option of your settings is that you want to ensure your cellular data is turned on and the reason why that is that if you're outside and you're getting a voicemail and most of the time it requires data in order to be saved onto your phone so ensure that cellular data is turned on. Along with that is under your Wi-Fi calling if you don't have this option on, I would recommend turning it and enabling that option for you. As you can see here, here I'm not able to activate it because my carrier needs to first um, enable it, but you want to ensure that that is on for your device if you can't have that setting on. Now, the other thing to check in your settings is that you want to turn off call forwarding. For In order to do that, you go into your settings. This time, you're going to want to go to phone option here. You're going to look for call forwarding, right? You want to ensure that is turned off because you don't want call forwarding on because if you do have call forwarding on, it's going to another device, which means a voicemail is possibly going there instead of the phone that you're looking to do. So you want to ensure if that's turned on, you go ahead and turn that off. Now, after doing that, we're going to close our settings here, open up settings one more time here. If you're still having an issue. You're going to go to general here, go all the way down here where it says transfer reset iPhone. You're going to want to click on the first option for reset and we need to do a network reset here. What a network reset is that it removes existing connection to different Wi-Fi, cellular devices, even Bluetooth connected devices. Again, it's really simple to do. It's going to take about a minute or so to do, but it's important to do network uh, reset if you're having issues with any sort of cellular connectivity such as the voicemail itself. Now, after you have checked that and it's still not working, it's time to check in your settings under general, and then you want to look at your date and time. And it's important that your date and time matches your local time. So for example, if you're traveling or something and that time hasn't updated, you want to ensure that you either set it manually 
or set it automatically. If it doesn't pick up automatically, go ahead and set it manually to the time zone you're in and ensure that the date and the time is correct as well if it's not correct. But ideally, you should have it automatically for some reason. Sometimes it doesn't update by itself. You need to do it manually as well. And lastly, if you're still having issues, it's time to go ahead and update your phone software. In order to do that, you're going to be in your settings, general, software update and check if there's update available and if there is it's going to show up just like that and you're going to want to download and install give yourself about half an hour to 45 minutes make sure you're connected to good strong cellular data or wi-fi connection and your phone is at least 50 percent or more charge if not connected to a charger and go ahead and download the update to see if that helped fix your issue if you're still having issues with the voicemail not coming through and uh that's about it for troubleshooting your voicemail now if you're having issues setting up voicemail I'm gonna leave another video on how to set up your voicemail which you can check that video out which will go through a step of setting up your voicemail for the very first time as well so I hope this video was helpful if so please make sure to like and subscribe button thanks for watching guys see you guys next time